This video is sponsored by Volta. Do you have this problem? This. Look at all of the cables and the cores that I have in my hand. I'm sure this is pretty common for tech enthusiasts who have a ton of, say, USB-C, micro-USB, or even lightning cables because that's just how much tech is in our lives. It's for this reason that I tend to have charging bricks like this so that I can accommodate all of the different devices that I have to charge, sometimes at the same time, on the daily. So that's why it was actually pretty cool for Volta to reach out and they offered for me to check out their newest cable. Presumably one cable to rule them all. So, will this replace all of this? Well, the answer is yes and no, and here's why. This is Joshua Vergara, what's going on everybody? And these are some thoughts on the Volta Spark. All right, so you might be familiar with Volta. They already have a few cables that use a magnetic system so that you just need to put the connector in your device and use one cable to charge all of them. But with the Volta Spark, you get a significant upgrade and right now it's being crowdfunded on Indiegogo. So let's go through the actual cable a bit. On one end is this USB-C connection, ready to route up to 100 watt power delivery currents from your charging adapter or one of the charging bricks. The cable is also braided and it's tangle resistant. Now while I have not used this long term yet, it does feel like a cable that will stand a long time of wear and tear. Just think of those times when you were using like cheap iPhone cables that you bought at like the airport store or something like that, and they would just eventually fray and the plastic near one of the connectors would just fall apart. I don't think that'll be the case with this cable. Besides, it comes with a handy carrying case for when you're not actually using it. Although I do think that some people will end up having it plugged into their power banks or their charging bricks all the time. Obviously the whole point about this cable is that it is basically universal and supports essentially all of the different protocols that we need in today's tech. Things like power delivery are the highlight here, but Qualcomm Quick Charge, Data Transfer, and even Android Auto are all possible using this one cable. And it's considered universal because of Volta's tip system. On the other end of the cable are these connectors underneath a super strong magnet that pops right into the 18 karat gold plated tips that you would already have in your device. Like so. USB-C tip into let's say a smartphone and then you just have to connect it straight into the phone. Now to disconnect the cable, sometimes you have to get it off at an angle. The magnet can actually be too strong and it will take the entire tip with it if you just do a straight pull. Volta provided me with this USB-C tip that I just showed you and then the lightning tip that goes into my iPhone and I guess my AirPods but it's actually the USB-C tip that I have been switching among my different products. For the most part, it's in my Pixel 4a. Now the connection is super sturdy and a blue LED light on the side of the cable connector shows that power is indeed coursing through. And honestly, it's just great to see that fast charging confirmation on my Pixel once it's plugged in. Okay, so a cable like this is not necessarily new, but Volta does get a lot of credit for updating it to today's premium standards. Uh, at its core though, there are practical benefits to having a magnetic cable system. If you or the people around you are a little bit clumsy, let's say, and snag or trip the wire, it won't take the rest of the product with it. It's like the old MagSafe system, but adapted to pretty much any device. Volta calls it SnagSafe, by the way. Speaking of laptops, in case you haven't clued into it by now, the up to 100 watt PD charging means that the Volta Spark can be used to charge MacBooks, laptops like my G14, uh, Nintendo Switches, and even my camera. I've literally plugged it into every device that I can so far, and it has worked as advertised in each one. The other tangible benefit is space savings, especially if you're constantly on the go. I tend to have a bag on me at all times, and there happens to be a power bank in there in case I need to charge my phone or my camera when I'm getting casual B-roll. It's just one cable that can quickly change up from, let's say, my iPhone, which has the lightning tip in it, and then over to my camera, which has the USB-C tip in there, and I can just snap the Volta Spark off and on either one. But that's only if you can really be stationary and allow the magnet to stay on the actual tip. Otherwise, if you're stuffing like your phone and the cable in a bag, well, you can see that other elements in the bag are just enough to make it come off. I have a lot of stuff that I like to keep plugged in basically at all times, and that's why I have charging bricks like I mentioned earlier. Volta's base package on Indiegogo right now is one cable and one tip which for most people probably makes sense. In this case, it's less about charging multiple devices and more about adding the convenience and the safety elements. I think the next logical step would be to get a few more tips. Say you're an iPhone user, so you're using the lightning tip a lot, and you would probably need to get a couple of USB-C tips for things like your iPad or even your camera. Even then, you still might need some micro USB tips a lot more than you'd expect. Those are the plugs that Volta supports, USB-C, lightning, and micro USB. 
I did hope to get some of Volta's older cable tips to cover at least some of these needs, but the Spark system is brand new and it doesn't work with their previous offerings. Practically for just everyday on-the-go stuff, I would be happy with just the one cable and multiple tips in different products. Such a scenario definitely speaks to what Volt is trying to do here. But for the charging brick user like me, I'd probably want to have like three cables so that I can easily charge everything that helps me get videos like this done. Three sounds like a pretty good enough number because I can just easily change up the configurations as needed. And I'm not even just talking about my office or at my work desk at home. With three cables, a charging brick, and as many tips as needed to charge my various products, well, all of that would actually be very travel friendly. So is this one cable to rule them all? Well, it depends. One cable usage works for like the laptop user who wants that snag safe life. For phone users, it's basically as convenient as wireless charging, but it's way faster at filling the battery. And if you do switch among two or maybe three products, the one cable setup can be really nimble. But there are times when you need to charge multiple things at once. Let's say you're in a cafe and both your laptop and your phone need juice, or you're charging a bunch of batteries like I do all the time. For those cases, you might need more than one cable. Volta seems to know this because their early bird special is three cables and three tips. And everything I just explained would answer the question that some people had. Why would you want three cables at such a price? Well, ultimately it's a sturdy, basically universal cable. And if you get enough tips to cover your bases, then three cables should be more than enough to help you say goodbye to this problem. Or at the very least, it'll help you shave it down a significant amount. So you know what, after trying it out, the Volta Spark is my cup of tea. It's been a good introduction into a magnetic cable system without skimping on those premium features. So if you want to check out the crowdfunding campaign, they have just about a week left at the time of this video coming out, and I have links in the description below. Thanks to Volta for letting me try out the Spark cable. It's definitely an interesting thing to try out and for sponsoring this video. Let me know if you are using any of these magnetic cable systems, what your experience has been like, and if you're going to check out the Volta Spark. At the very least, Drop some likes on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. With all of that said, I will call it on this one. Take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.